Hello, this is Dead Man Walking. Um, today's video is just going to be a core skill sort of thing. Why well, deem it's core skill with um, survival and life in Java. So this is just going to be on cordage. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people don't know how to tie knots. It's strange as it sounds. We live in a day and age where it's not a very useful skill. So it's on top of my ammo box for my medical supplies and stuff. Don't take this out me all the time. But it's just a nice place to show. So the simplest knot is, yeah, yeah, this is just a bit of power cord. You make a loop, just simply get the other end, put it through. It's a nice knot, quick and easy to learn, I don't know the name of it. It's just a knot, um, used pretty much everywhere. So next up is the figure of eight. This is a more complex, not really complex. It's uh, probably a better knot, so you just uh, make a loop again. Pass it over, under, then back through the loop. So called a figure of eight because it looks like the number eight. But there's also a double figure of eight which can be used for uh, uh, throwing or when a larger knot is needed. So just loop like that. Pass it over poke it through there you go so I've shown you how to do a few simple knots um, so this is just going to be one if you have more than one piece of cordage so the first one's going to be a reef knot so you, get, you need to need two pieces for this Simply wrap them over, around, maybe pull a bit tighter like that, and then poke it through again, tighten it, there you go, reef knot. Uh, this doesn't work as well if the um, piece of cordage isn't isn't the same thickness, so watch out for that, but it's, you know, it's, it's a nice one, I wouldn't trust anything on it, but it's for like, reef and sails so that's when the sail on a boat needs to be reduced because the wind's too high or strong so as a continuation from the last uh, I guess combination knots or combining two pieces of cordage this is the you know let me just think sheet band sorry not reef knot I did that last time so you can need a loop like this pass it through Wrap it under, and then under the first piece, but not the loop. So then pull. So this is a much stronger knot, in my opinion, than a reef knot. Um, and it also can be used if they have different thicknesses. The cord is, I said last time, the reef knot doesn't work as well. It can work, but again, it's even riskier to have it. But this should be a great sort of... Um, I want to do survival knot, but if you need to tie two pieces to together, other than doing a bow from just tying shoelaces, which is another thing people don't do these days. So to, I didn't show this in the last ones because they're quite explanatory. Just untie, just pull part like that. But strain, you know, this is paracord, but it can hold x amount of whatever pounds. And um, if you want to cut paracord, you know it's. Probably one of your safest bats for cutting. Simply make a loop like this. Half it. So if you want to half this, get your knife, put it down, and just kind of pull back. So now you're left with a fraying end. And to stop that, I can just become apparent now. So that's the fraying end. You need a heat source. I'm just using a lighter. Heat it up. Push it in there. See it's become like coated. Uh, this will stop it from fraying. It doesn't have to be a lighter, it can be used. You can use any heat source, you know, candle, match. But it would probably be a waste uh, match. The only heat source I wouldn't recommend using is a jet lighter because it just burns up the rope 
uh, doesn't quite work as well on more natural cordage like uh, garden twine. It can work, but it most likely they'll just burn up like a fuse or a wick. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I apologise again that we're not in the woods today, this video, but next weekend or next video should be up there, pop my podcast. Uh, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more. Until next time, Dad, my walking out.